With this video, we're going to show you some of the other features uh, when creating uh, views of 3D geometry inside of the CASA Draft module within IronCAD. One of the first things I'd like to show you here is the uh, properties that each view has. If we go over here to our View Trees window, which I showed you in the last video, we have our uh, three views here of the assembly that we have. And to look at the properties, I can just right-click on the view and say View Properties. Now this will bring up the uh, View Property dialog box. And here you can tell what types of items you want to have projected. Now you can change the label, uh, how it's um, displayed, you know, uh, true representation or quick. <clears throat> Actually quite similar to what you'd see inside of uh, the regular IronCAD uh, drawing environment. For example, say we don't want to have hidden lines. I can just, in the hidden line section, say uh, need an export for hidden lines. And we'll click OK and the hidden lines for this view have disappeared. To turn them back on, I just go to the view, right-click View Properties, and turn them back on. Now some of the other items in here are some of the other commands that, that uh, we didn't show in the previous video. Uh, the first one is the Hide Lines command, and I'm just going to zoom in here. You can see in this view we have a lot of clutter from the hidden lines. Maybe we'd like to remove some of those. So to do that, I'll just go in and I'll click on my Hide Lines tool. And I can just start going in and hiding lines in the view. Quick and simple. And again, left mouse button continues the command. When I'm done, I can just click the right mouse button. And we're finished. Now if I want to bring the lines back, I just go back over here. And there's the other command here, which is Cancel the Hide Lines. I'll just select that tool. Come over to the view. Click anywhere, click anywhere on the view and the lines come back. And again, right mouse but, button, uh, click to get out of the command. The next command I'd like to show you is the uh, cut view command. This will actually, uh, it's kind of like a broken view. That's what we call a broken view inside of IronCAD. And to use the uh, command, we'll just go over here to cut view and click on that. The first thing you'll notice here down on the bottom is you have an option for entering uh, a value for the break distance. This is how far apart the uh, breaks are inside the view. Uh, the default's 10. I've put in 20 here. And I'll cl click the view I want to start breaking on. And then you see here that I get my first split line. And you'll notice down here at the bottom I have an option. I can do straight, curved, or zigzag. And I can also choose if I want to do horizontal or vertical. We'll, we'll go with vertical on this view here, and I'm going to break this view from that point to the middle of this point here, and we get our updated broken view. And the com command continues, and again, it's the same process as before, where left mouse button will continue the command, and then right mouse button cancels it out. The last thing I'd like to do is show a bit more information on how to uh, create a 3D bill of materials. The last demo we only had a single part so there wasn't really anything to show uh, in the bill of materials. This one we have uh, multiple, multiple parts and assembly. So to create the bill of materials I'll just go in here, click the import bomb button, and same procedure as yesterday, open up the file. After the file is selected I can click on it and it will list here. Uh, the attributes and I can go you can go in and actually customize this you can go in and just double click on one of the fields here and pick one of the predefined uh, styles you can go in and type in uh, your own attribute that you want to have carried over to the uh, bomb uh, this UI may change a little bit between now and the time we actually re release but this is the uh, the layout for right now uh, you can pick different uh, levels how far you want to go into the uh, into the assembly we'll just click OK and the bill of materials brings up first this template. We can go in and take a quick look. Here's the uh, bill of materials. We can choose which items we want to have shown, which is which is pretty nice here. Uh, these are the columns that we've already defined, and this pulled the data right out of the 3D model. So we'll just go ahead and click OK. And there's the bill of materials. Now to move it, zoom in here so you can see there's the uh, there's the information. And to move it, we can just click on the bill of materials and pull the uh, blue blue uh, 
square and click the new location to move it anywhere on the drawing. So again, we just we have the uh, you select the bill of materials, pick on it, and move it to where you'd like it to be. And then to update the bill of materials, you just simply go over here, click the update bomb button, and that'll bring you back in, and you can update update the bomb. What's nice is you can have multiple files listed here so you can update various bombs whenever you'd like and of course it's fully associative back to the 3D model so any changes you make in the 3D model will be reflected inside the bomb. Thank you very much.